Hi, my name is Brenda Wingfield. I'm a professor in the Department of Genetics at the University of Pretoria. I'm also the Deputy Dean of Research and Postgraduate Studies. So research is something that I'm incredibly passionate about in order to be able to do highest quality internationally recognized research, one has to have access to the journals that are publishing the latest research, the latest science. And one of the most important things, therefore, to me is to be able to have access to these journals. And these days, one can have access online. And I'm old enough to remember when we had to wait for three months, at least three months, for journals to arrive by ship from the Northern Hemisphere. So online access enables me and my research team to have instant access to all the literature that is available in the rest of the world. Now, of course, in order to be able to have that access, we have to pay for subscriptions to the various databases that are available and that costs money and those of us who are in the developing world have much smaller budgets and these subscriptions are relatively much more expensive to us than to researchers and research institutions in the developed world. So open access has become increasingly important for our research and open access provides us with a number of advantages. Some people say that if you have journals, if you have pa papers on open access, that is going to increase your citations. I'm less convinced about the citations. What to me is most important is the fact that everybody can access your work and this results in having greater visibility for your work. But for the developing world, it's not only about the vis visibility, it's also about the fact that you can be up to date all the time. So open access is going to be incredibly important for us here at the University of Pretoria. And a number of years ago, our Senate okayed a mandate whereby we promote open access at the University of Pretoria and I really think this is going to be the wave of the future.